The following program is intended for mature audiences. A Democratic Republic of Sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville host Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. Welcome into the Wicked Weed Studios, WickedWeedBrewing.com. Drink different. I'm Jeremy Green of ESPN Radio. This is Brian Haynes. This is the New Orleans Saints 2021 NFL three-round mock draft. Uh, Brian, with the retirement of Drew Brees, things are going to look a little different in New Orleans. If you were the GM of the Saints, what would you be looking to do on April 29th? I think first and foremost, they got to be looking to get an upgrade at wide receiver for 100% certainty. Um, Defensive line, edge, cornerback. You know, this team is in that situation where they were in salary cap hell. Um, I think they did a pretty decent job of actually getting out of it. But this whole Taysom Hill, Jameis Winston, who's going to be the starter kind of thing is just a little disturbing to me. And um, they do have a good defense, but it needs to be improved this year if they're going to be doing anything. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Taysom Hill experiment. I'm hoping they plan on going with Jameis Winston. But with the 28th pick in the 2021 three-round mock draft from the sportsocracy, the New Orleans Saints. Select Terrace Marshall Jr. out of LSU. Brian, what are your thoughts on Terrace Marshall? He's a playmaker. Um, One out of every four of his catches were for a touchdown. Um, That's an incredible stat right there. It's insane. Um, That's one of my favorite (laughs) stats of this entire process, by the way. Yeah, it's insane. You know, he does – he did opt out after seven games, which I I felt was more because LSU stunk this year, which shows a little character to me a little bit. Um, I think that he does lack a little bit of focus, but this guy overwhelms smaller DBs. Um, I think he could be a real good fit in – um, the New Orleans system, especially if Jameis Winston's playing quarterback. The high weight speed on him is impressive. He's got good, he's 6'3", he's fast. The high end on him is good. The, the problems I have with him is drop rates stupidly high. Uh, he's pretty good against man coverage, but I don't like the way he gets off the line. I think this is a guy that needs to be in a play action scheme. I think it could work with New Orleans. Jameis Winston does have a big arm. I don't hate the fit, the fit with the Saints. I think he would be a nice compliment to Michael Thomas. And he's a Louisiana State guy. Yeah. So you know New Orleans has gotten a lot of tape on him, got a Absolutely. lot of eyes on him. Uh, I would like Terrace Marshall at number 28 to the Saints. With the 60th pick, I have them taking Aaron Robinson, the corner from Central Florida. Uh, Brian, what are your thoughts on Aaron Robinson? He's got the size and the speed to play quarterback in this league, uh, cornerback in this league. He uh, can play inside and outside. He's got really good feet, and he press coverage is above, the press coverage is above average for him. Um, he does need to get a lot better at his route recognition, though. I think he gets a little bit caught up looking too too deep in the backfield. This is a guy that there's a lot of different uh, takes on. I like that he attacks the ball. He does tend to try to jump routes, which can get him busted on double moves. The tape in 2019, if if he had played in 2020 the way he played in 2019, he'd have been a first-round pick. Mm-hmm. And there are still some people that think he will be. I'm not one of them because I can't get over what he did last year. You know, I, he did. He played really well against bad teams. That always makes me a little nervous. But the the, the raw talent on this kid at 6'1", I, I do like the frame. I, I do like the fact that he can play press. Just going to need some seasoning. You know, he's, and he's a little thin. I, I would like him to bulk up just a little bit. But this is still a player I like, and I think he would fit tremendously uh, next to Mar- uh, Marshawn Lattimore yeah. with the Saints. With their first of two third-round picks, I have them taking Dylan Moses out of Alabama. This is a guy that we have been talking about for what feels like 50 years. Yeah. I think he got offered uh, 19 years ago by mm-hmm. LSU. He was. This was is like... one of the first kids to ever get the offer in, like, the sixth grade. Yeah. Uh, I still think this kid can be really good in the NFL. There's a lot of different takes on him. Brian, what do you think about Dylan Moses? He, I think he's your, he's your typical Alabama linebacker. He's going to be highly athletic. He's going to have really good speed. Going to recognize your plays real well. Um, He is not an A-plus tackler or a heavy hitter, but he does read and attack like the run, the the zone run uh, aggressively. I like the athleticism on this guy. The tape on him is kind of hard to watch at times because he overreacts to a lot of things. He gets stuck looking in the backfield. His eye discipline is not good, but the raw on him is tremendous. And I think you put him in this New Orleans defense where he's not going to be asked to do a lot. This is a guy that if you're trying to make your bed, don't ask Dylan Moses to help you because he can't cover shit. (laughs) Uh, 
I, but I still like the raw intangibles on him. I think he can have a role as a, a specifically as a two down linebacker in the NFL. And when you have a guy like Demario Davis already in the defense, I think that's a guy he could learn from to improve. He's never going to be good in coverage. I don't care how athletic he is. You're not going to go from what I've seen for three years at Alabama to a, a good coverage linebacker in the NFL. Yep. I think he can be passable, and being next to Demario Davis is something that I would really like. Uh, with their last pick, this is a comp pick at the end of the third round. I have them taking another New Orleans native, uh, Patrick Johnson from Tulane. Yeah, um, he's a little bit of an undersized edge rusher, but he gets to the quarterback. He gets in the backfield and he disrupts the play. He's technically sound and he's compact and he's very powerful. Um, again, this goes back to what you always say. You're going to have a lot more scouts in, in the certain air schools and the areas around you guys. I think they've seen enough tape on this guy. He can add a little bit more weight, but this guy does get to the quarterback, and that's all I can really say. You know, uh, This is a guy that you're going to put in on third down and go, go get him. Yep. Uh, the bend's not great. L linear linemen that can stay with him step for step are going to give him trouble. Here's the thing. You put him on the other side of Cam Jordan, I think he can be – I think he can have a very productive uh, career in this league. Yeah. I don't think he could ever be a, a drop guy. I don't think he's a 3-4 outside linebacker. I think this is a guy, a hand in the dirt on the opposite side of Cam Jordan, and I think he could be a productive player. Another thing that I, I don't feel like I've done a good enough job of saying this through these videos, in seasons like this where travel has been so limited and the ability to get in stadiums and actually see guys face-to-face, do not underestimate how many teams you're going to see take guys from schools that are close to them because they're so familiar with them. Cameron Sample, the, the, the guy that was on the other side of him at Tulane, another guy that I would like with the Saints, he's a little bit bigger. Yeah. I think he has more of an opportunity to be a three-down guy, mm -hmm. given some time. But Patrick Johnson, to me, can be a tremendous pass rusher if given some time. And the Saints, to me, are, are one of the best places he can land. This has been the New Orleans Saints three-round mock draft brought to you by the Sportsocracy. Be sure to hit, click the little beer icon in the bottom right-hand corner so you'll know every time we go live, including 9 a.m. every weekday morning. Uh, we uh, talk about everything. We're not just a football show anymore. Did a little baseball this morning. Yeah. We talk about all kinds of shit. Sports. Everything. Just sports. Like sports. Everything. Let's just do sports. We'll also be live for every pick of the 2021 NFL Draft. Live here from the Wicked Weed Studios. Brought to you, as always, by Wicked Weed. WickedWeedBrewing.com. Drink different.